All right, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and get this um, assembled up now with the wheel. And as I said, we'll, we'll set this up in the grinder. We'll give the, uh, the wheel a lick to trew it up. Then we'll take it back off the grinder and put it into our balancing rig and balance the wheel. And we'll just see how we go. So I've made up this um, pin wrench, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> um, very, very quick. It took me less than uh, less than 40 minutes to make this up whole, whole as bolus. So it's amazing what you can do in the workshop when you're not dealing with the camera. So much quicker. But we love having you guys along for the ride. All right, let's just see. There we go. And how all these wrenches work out. So you can see that's a, a very neat fit in there. Again, that's a very nice fit in there as well. well. Let's just nip that up. Right, we'll go to the grinder. We'll get this into place. Now, I've put a very, very light smear of oil on the actual um, shaft itself, the tapered shaft. Uh, try and prevent this thing, I like guess, locking up like it did last time. All right, we'll head over to the grinder. We'll get that spun on and uh, we'll see how things are looking. And then we'll give that a, a lick and get that trued up and come back and balance it. So as I said, I've got a very light smear of oil on the uh, on the taper. I'm just going to put a very light smear onto the actual thread itself. I just want to make it as easy to get off as we can so we don't go through that same heartache we did, uh, we did last time. Just wipe out the taper. All right. shaft at the back here. What well, I just need to go and get a uh, 3 8 spanner to fit in the back so that we can hold the shaft while we just limp it up a little bit. Oh, that's just nipped. All right, we'll pop the guard on. Set up the diamond, we'll give that a, a true up. I'll take it off again and go and balance it. All right, let's true this wheel up. Let's get it in the balancing rig and uh, we'll get it all sorted. Okay, let's see if I go through the same heartache that I did last time and getting this thing off. <laughs> I think that went. Yes, yes, it's off. Oh, thank goodness for that. All right, well that was easier. All right, let's head over to this uh, jerry-rigged balancing arrangement I've got and uh, let's see if we can get it sorted. I'll tell you, it is very, very close. Adjust these very, very slightly, and uh, we'll come back and see how we're looking. All right, it's probably taken about uh, 10 minutes to get this right, but I'm fairly happy with it now. I can sort of, it certainly was rolling off into one direction. That was the high point at one stage. So wherever I stop it is where it stays. All right, so I'm very happy with that. Oops. We'll get this mounted back up in the grinder and uh, we'll see how surface finish comes up.
Okay, I've got a hard block parallel here. Um, we'll give it a lick on the surface and let's see how it comes up, eh? Right, I wanted that to spark right out because if there was going to be any vibration issues, that's where they're going to show up on that uh, on that final spark at that final pass. Let's get off the table and have a look. But looking from here, it looks magnificent. All right, guys, that's the end result. Um, you've got to look very, very hard and get that into the right light to see any sort of fleck on that at all. But it's uh, it's very hard to see. And I've done this on hardened stock. Um, if there was any issues with the balance, it's certainly going to bounce on the harder stuff. Well, I'm very, very happy with that. That's, uh, the balancing arbor has certainly done a, a fantastic job in, in getting the surface finished right up where it should be. All right. Well, I've done very little around the house lately. So I've been focusing on uh, workshop projects and I need to get some, <laughs> some work done. Otherwise, my wife is going to shoot me. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Cheers for now.